Okay, John, thank you. Greenville City Council voted unanimously last night to expand the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Check out this map. I'm going to try to draw on it for you. There we go. So the trail will connect from Cleveland Park, right here, across Lawrence Road, run parallel to Lawrence, with bridges expected to be built at Lawrence, Haywood, and Verde Boulevard. It will also cross over Woodruff, but there has not been talk about a bridge there. And the expansion will then end down at the ICAR campus. WY5 News Force Allie Miles has more. Hey, the trail will be better for me. I'm just using it to get to work. Talk to folks like Torrance Evans. They're ready for a safer route to ride their bike. Um, uh, let me use it as a 10 speed and I, I enjoy it. Awesome. It's better than walking. Evans might use the Swamp Rabbit every now and again, but with this expansion, he'll be one more person on the new part of the trail. Already about half a million people use it every year, according to Greenville County's Parks and Tourism. It helps support jobs. I mean, it, it, the data shows that it, it supported 111 jobs last year alone. Part of the $2.5 million investment, adding bridges over some of the busiest roads. Now, moving forward, it means that the trail is going to be extended from Cleveland Park across roads like Lawrence, Haywood, and Verde Boulevard with a 17 foot tall bridge going over these roads. The expansion will run parallel to Lawrence, where you'll find the great escape. There's a lot of people that use it to commute. Back and forth. They're excited for a boost in business and boosting the love of cycling. It's good to have an alternative means of transportation that doesn't involve jamming up more roads and more traffic. Allie Miles, WYFF News 4 in Greenville. Now, the county still needs to secure about $3.5 million in funding before it can break ground on the project. It can be